In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called Find Minimum in Rotated Sorted Array Number 2. So this is a follow-up question um, from the Find Minimum in Rotated Sorted Array Number 1. So I highly recommend to check out this video before checking out this question. So basically, the goal is we will still want to find the smallest element, but there could be duplicate numbers, right? In the previous question, we don't have any duplicates, but this question we do. And here you can see we have an array, and we basically, if, if we... This is the solution for the previous question, right, in 153. The goal is that if there is a, um, if we have a left, the left value, the very left value, in this case 0, right, is less than the very right value, in this case 7, then we can just return the smallest element, in this case 0. That's what we're doing here. And if we have a situation where that condition doesn't satisfy, then we're going to see if the midpoint, the mid, the array at mid, if array at mid is actually bigger than array at, le uh, array at right, right, then we can get the left pointer to move to the mid pointer, and we can just perform the binary search on the right because we know the smallest element will be on the right. But if that's not the case, then we're going to search on the left. And at the end, we get two elements, the left and the right, which they are all both dif different, right? So in this case, we're just going to find the smallest element between those two. So if we were to run the code, you can see that these are accepted because because those cases, as you can see, they're they're pretty easy, right? So even though they're duplicates here, you can still define based on this condition that we can search on the right. But what if we have a situation like this, where we have a duplicate um, on the left, right? In this case. And then the smallest element is on the right. And based on this condition, we will, based on this condition, you can see that we're basically trying to search on the left. Um, so this will give us the false answer, right? So what, what should we do instead? Well, what we can do instead is we can basically treat this as a two pointer problem, right? Because if you look at this way, binary search, there basically are two pointers, uh, two pointers way to solve binary problem, binary search problem, right? Basically, we're having a pointer here, and we're, po we're having a pointer on the right as well. And then um, for each iteration, we're trying to get the midpoint, in this case, the midpoint is here, right? So what we can do instead is this. Basically, we still have those conditions, right? So in this case, nums at mid, if nums at mid is bigger than nums at right, in this case, now we can just get our, uh, what we can do instead is we can actually increment our, our left by one. Otherwise, we can decrement right by one instead of us getting the right pointer equal to the midpoint. This way, what we can do is that we can ensure that we're not like missing any elements, right? So in this case, let's say we have our left pointer here, left right pointer here. What we're going to do is this. We're going to see if the midpoint is just like this one, midpoint is actually bigger than nums at right. If midpoint is bigger than nums at right, what we're going to do is we're going to get the left pointer increment by one. So in this case, uh, we're not going to do that because the midpoint is not bigger than the right pointer. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to get the right pointer in decrement by one. Now the right pointer is here, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to see if nums at mid is, um, so in this case, nums at mid, Let's try to, so nums at mid is here, right? So in this case, nums at mid, right, is not bigger than, is, is, uh, in this case, nums at mid is bigger than nums at right, right? So now nums at mid is 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to increment left pointer by one. So now the left pointer is here. And the mid point is here. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if the nums at mid is actually bigger than nums at right. In this case, it is. Then we're going to increment the left pointer by one. Okay. Now we're here. And then basically our job is done because left plus left plus one is less than or equal to right. Oh, sorry, less than ten, less than the right pointer. Then our job is done. We can just compare those two values to see who has the smallest. And we can return a smallest element, right? And all we're trying to do here is we're basically deleting this condition because that, that is no longer going to work. And what we're going to do is we're just going to increment the left pointer by one. And 
and decrement the left pointer, the right pointer by one. Okay. At the end, we're just going to return either nums at left or nums at right. So now, if we were to plug those conditions and try to submit a code, you can see we have our success. So basically, this is how we solve the problem. And the question asks us, would, um, will allow duplicates affect the runtime complexity? How and why? So definitely, this will affect the time complexity because um, there could be a situation where all the numbers are duplicates, right? In this case, we're basically traversing each and every single element in the array. So that's going to be the worst case. And the worst case is going to be big O of n. But the good case, on the average, is going to be big O of log n, where n is the number of elements in the array. So there you have it. This is the time complexity, and the space complexity in this case is going to be big O of 1. So there you have it. Thank you for watching.